What is good everybody? It is Trey from My Damn Toys here. Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video and today is Ringside Fest 2018. Very, very excited. We have so many new figures to show you guys here today. I'm just going to go ahead and get straight into it guys. Look at this right here. We have a brand new Elimination Chamber playset. I do believe it is for a basic ring, but it is so cool just to see this thing. Maybe this is a step towards, you know, an authentic scale ring Elimination Chamber. It's really cool. It's the updated Elimination Chamber at that. You can see the four pods there. It is sadly a basic ring in the center of it, but it's still really cool. I love that we're, you know, they're taking a step towards that. Maybe in the future we could get an authentic scale ring for the Elimination Chamber to uh, surround that and have, you know, epic matchups like that. Uh, next up, we do have that car play set with Braun Strowman, as you can see it right here. Absolutely beautiful. Um, I'm still excited to pick this thing up. Can't wait to do a review on it or something like that. Uh, the basic's not very good. You know, it says get these hands on his shirt, but besides that, you know, not too important. But it is a really cool car. Cannot wait to see, you know, what comes of this play set when it finally releases. Next, guys, getting into some figures, we have a look at the brand new Elite 67 Jeff Hardy right here. Look at this head scan. It is his pre-Swanton Bomb or high spot face. You can see him screaming right there. Jax used to do this head scan a lot, but his hair looks even better here. Um, we are also getting signature hands right there. I don't know if we're going to be getting, you know, red sleeves. I don't know if it'll be the red sleeve attire, but I am guessing this is going to be an updated Jeff Hardy given the hair, the way the hair looks, and then he has his gauges in his ears. So that makes me, you know, this is obviously obviously going to be a 2018 version of Jeff Hardy, which I'm excited for. I'm um, hope, hoping to find out what attire it's going to be very soon, but these are very early prototype images. That is why the head is still pink. The hands are still pink, but I'm very excited for this Jeff Hardy, guys. I mean, it's, it's another Jeff Hardy to add to the collection. We have plenty of flashbacks we need to make customs of and build up the Jeff Hardy timeline. Definitely one of my favorites of all time, so I'm definitely going to be grabbing 162 of these. But uh, moving on, guys, we do have a look at Shayna Baszler, another Elite 67 figure. And she is looking good right here. Again, early prototype images, but from the way it looks, I am excited to see you know what it looks like when it finally releases and when it finally gets painted up. Maybe at another toy show down the line, we'll get to see what this figure looks like painted up. Moving on, we have Velveteen Dream, and this figure looks great. I am sort of worried about that torso. I don't really like you know the size of that torso for Velveteen Dream. It's like a Triple H or Batista style torso. For me, I think that Shelton Benjamin would have been perfect. So when I get this figure, I'll definitely have to use an extra Shelton Benjamin or Kofi Kingston to uh, switch out that torso because that's that's too jack for me at least. Um, it still looks like a great figure. The head scan, the boots, and everything look great. Can't wait to see what it looks like painted up like Shayna. But moving on to the last Elite 67 figure we have right here, guys, is Randy Orton, my boy. Elite 67 looking great right here. Um, we're going to get his brand new signature hands, you know, his pose that Randy Orton does, gets up on the turnbuckle. We're getting those hands. I guess we'd get either open or fists for the other two hands. Hopefully they're open. I don't like the fisted hands just because you can do punches and uh, weapon holding hands with the same hand. Um, I don't think fists are even necessary, honestly, except for Roman Reigns. He needs a fisted hand for his right hand. But Randy Orton looks great here. Love the head scan. Love the hands. Can't wait to see what attire they go with. But that does it for new Elite 67 images. But we have some more images coming up right here, guys. Next up, guys, we have some brand new Elite 65 images of Elite 65 Nia Jax. She's going to come with three interchangeable head scans, which is absolutely incredible. I would love to see them include multiple head scans with other figures down the line, not just, you know, Nia Jax. Just because she doesn't have many accessories, that doesn't mean you can't, you know, give other figures multiple head scans as well. Um, you know, she has her long hair down. She has her shorter hair, like curly. And then she has her braided hairstyle right here. Great looking head scan on this figure. I'm not a big fan of Nia Jax or or her figures but this figure looks great and her head scan looks absolutely amazing it looks just like Nia Jax so Mattel totally knocked this one out of the park taking a look at a brand new Elite 65 figure right here guys we have Eric Young from Sanity in his full gear right here guys all of the mask covering up great details on this figure love the attire um, he's got his tattoos on there. The head scan, from what I can see underneath the hood right there, is absolutely perfect. That wide-eyed, you know, Bushwhackers type head scan right there. I'm loving the way this Eric Young looks. Can't wait to see, you know, the rest of Sanity up next to this guy. But, you know, this is a final, like, pretty much production of the figure. This is a Lee 65, so this is the next set that we're going to be getting is uh, this set right here, guys. So Eric Young looking great. We also have a brand new Roman Reigns right here, guys, and this is Elite 65 as well. You can see it's like his SummerSlam, I believe, attire and his red and black. I, I believe it's SummerSlam. I could be wrong, 
but um, it looks great. I love the Intercontinental Championship. We're getting, you know, the hang loose hands again. Hopefully this thing comes with fists because a uh, Roman Reigns figure has never had a fisted hand and it really does need a fisted hand so you can do, you know, the cuffed it up and you can do the Superman punch and poses like that. I think that he really does need a fist on his right hand at least. So hopefully they do give him a fist when this figure finally does release. Looking at another Elite 65 figure, we have Aiden English right here, guys. One out of his entrance gear and then one in his entrance gear. And this is so beautiful. I'm loving this. The only problem I have with it is the torso choice. I mean, come on. Give him the Jack torso. Have you seen Aiden English? He's absolutely jacked. They could have totally given him, you know, the jacked torso, but I am hyped for this figure. His first time in the line elite, we have seen, um, I think, one basic before in his VOD Villains Battle Pack, and then there's another basic that I'll show you guys in this video of Aiden English, but this elite looks incredible. Very excited for the way this one looks, and then we have his former tag team partner, Rusev, in Rusev Day right here. I don't have a great image of this, and I think that is because... Uh, Ringside hasn't posted the official image of it, but I did get this from my boy, Unstable1047. So this is a look at Rusev, and you can see, I don't know why they gave us this head scan. I love the beard, but look at the shaved head, guys. Why did they give us the shaved head look? We really need like a handsome Rusev head scan. You can see he does have his Rusev Day boots on. We are getting his Rusev Day shirt, which I am excited for. I love Rusev to death, so I am happy that they're giving us some things. But that head scan still isn't good. Like I, I, I'm going to be using my custom BEW head scan forever because they don't give us the right head scan. But I'm fine with that. I mean, whatever. I, I like my BEW custom head scan, and I'll leave it on there for good. Um, if they don't give us one, but I am excited for Rusev 7 Elite 65, and then the last Elite 65 figure that we do have is Ronda Rousey right here, guys. I believe this is the moment where she puts Stephanie through the table, if I'm not mistaken. You can see she has, uh, she's decked out in black. She comes with a table and the red cloth and everything with a contract. It, it looks really good. I don't think I like this head scan better than her basic. I think her basic, um, is better than this figure, but it's still cool to see a different attire. Um, I was hoping that this would be her WrestleMania 34 attire, you know, in wrestling gear. Since we already have one of her promo gears in basic form, I would have loved to have seen um, her wrestling gear for the next figure. But it's not that big of a deal. You know, the women's figures, I don't really use those in the pick fed or anything. So not very big deal, but it's still cool to see Ronda Rousey here in Elite 65. Next up, we have two more new elites, guys. We have Ric Flair, the Nature Boy, and I think that is one of his best figures. I love the uh, the throwback Ric Flair right here in the robe. We got the dead gum red boots going. I would love a woo head scan, but you know it is what it is. And then, of course, we have Sensational Sherry on the right. I don't really care for it, but it is a great-looking figure. Like, the likeness and the cloth accessory and the paint detail on that is absolutely incredible. I am very excited for the Ric Flair. Not too much on the Sherry, just because, you know, I really don't care about it, but it's still a great looking figure. I think Mattel did great on that, and um, I think that both of these look absolutely incredible with their cloth accessories. I hope we never get rubber accessories again. Just stick to the cloth, and everything will be A-OK. -okay. Moving on into some basics, guys, if anybody even cares, because basics have just been ruined here lately. Um, we have a brand new Bailey here in the red attire. You got two macho men. You got Undertaker, Triple H, and Jinder Mahal. Jinder Mahal's head scans look pretty good, but he's not really on TV anymore. But you can see, I think we're going to be getting brand new Chase basics. That's why there's two different macho men. That's because one of them is the Chase variant, like we're getting in the Elite line. So that's interesting to see that we're going to be getting Chase figures moving forward in not only the Elites, but the basics. Right here, you have uh, the new basic series with Mandy Rose on the right right there and I hate to see that like every single women's figure has the same exact mold like Mandy Rose is pretty jacked and I think she deserves to get you know some more muscle added to her women's figure uh, Seth Rollins, Samoa Joe, John Cena, Jeff Hardy right there and um, the head scans on some of these are pretty nice so that's probably the only reason you want to grab them we also have the Wrestlemania 35 basics that Charlotte figure looks like the best Charlotte they've ever made from Wrestlemania 34, we have Trish Stratus, Kevin Nash, Elias, John Cena, and Matt Hardy. I guess those Chase variants for the basic wave probably won't come until later on. Um, but that Charlotte figure looks incredible, guys. Like, that's that's freaking amazing. That John Cena is laughable, though. And then, of course, we do have Basic Series 91, I think, with Drew Gulak, Finn Balor, Alexa Bliss. You can see the Chase variant, Dean Ambrose, one with the Shield shirt and one without. You also have Shinsuke Nakamura in this set, and you can see that the Chase variant won't be very different. It'll be pretty much like a t-shirt Walmart series or something barely different from the other Basic going forward. And then we have a new 
basic series right here. You got Ronda Rousey, Roman Reigns, Kane, Aiden English, and The Miz. And I think this is basic series 90, if I'm not mistaken, um, because we've already got that Ronda Rousey. We've reviewed it here on the channel. Moving on, guys, we do have some new images of the brand new battle packs. You can see Seth Rollins and The Miz from WrestleMania 34. We have Edge and Jeff Hardy from WrestleMania 17. And then we have AJ Styles and Shinsuke Nakamura from WrestleMania 34 as well. Some of these figures look solid. I'm happy to get, you know, that Seth Rollins attire. I just wish it was elite. Um, Jeff Hardy's new head scan is eh. You know, we've talked about it before. It's not the best head scan, but I see what they were going for. I'm interested to see how it looks in person before I fully judge it. But um, we already have that AJ Styles in elite form in the brand new Top Talents line. And then I think this is the last image that I have for you guys here in today's video. We have a brand new look at the new entrance grace Elias, the last ever entrance grace in the line, looking great in package right here with his white pants. This is definitely better than Elite 60. I love the white pants better. You guys know how I am about the color white. Um, great looking guitar. We actually get his stool and his scarf. So a great looking entrance grace figure. Can't wait to pick this thing up. Um, I'm going to be interested to see, you know, uh, how it compares to the brand new Elite 60. I think I like this one better just at first first glance. Um, not a new head scan, same exact head scan it looks like, but it's still a great figure and it'll be cool to have, you know, black pants version and a white pants version. Maybe I can do like a boot swap, make him like full white, give him some white boots as well. But uh, this is uh, this is pretty much all that I have for you guys today it, uh, from Ringside Fest 2018, guys. Uh, let me know down in the comment section below what figure you're most excited for. I really love the Elite 67 and 65 images, especially of Jeff Hardy and Randy Orton and Velveteen Dream. I think those are my most excited for figures. But um, I am excited for everything. I mean, but those are probably the most exciting I'm for. But uh, that pretty much does it for today's video. If they put up more images, guys, I will be posting them up to you guys so you guys will be able to check them out but thank you guys for watching subscribe to the channel for more epic wwe figure videos follow me on instagram and twitter at my damn toys and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you